So good morning and welcome to the second day of UK of uh, INCF Neuroinformatics 2016. My name is Leslie Smith and I'm going to give a short presentation about the UK node of the INCF. As you know, the INCF is, has nodes in each member country and each, each member country has to put together something which acts as INC, works with INCF from that country. So we were a governing node, we're currently an associate node, um, but we nonetheless we remain very involved in INCF activities and we're hoping to return to being a governing node once again in the near future. We're working on that. The view that we take of neuroinformatics within the UK from the node is a broad view covering the whole areas that are covered here, but also even a bit more than that, even a bit of uh, neuromorphic engineering as well. So we're particularly interested in the areas like data and code sharing, uh, reproducibility in experimental and also in clinical neuroscience, and all the, the work, all the infrastructure that's required in order to enable that kind of sharing of reproducibility. We're very interested in computational modeling, simulation activities, and there's a lot of work in those areas going on within the UK at all levels, ranging from the molecular right the way up to the kind of large-scale brain modeling. And in addition, we're also interested in neuromorphic systems. That's to say, neurally inspired engineering systems that take concepts from the brain and turn them into things you can really work with. So in this talk, I'm going to say a little bit about recent activities at the UK node, give a few examples of work in the UK on neuroinformatics and talk briefly about future events, all fairly quickly. So in recent activities, unfortunately we failed to get any money out of the research councils for the last year or two, but our recent activities have been relatively curtailed as a result. But nonetheless, we held a full-scale one-day meeting in London on the 3rd of May, and we were very involved in the neuroinformatics social. We helped to organise the neuroinformatics social at Fens 2016 in a cold and damp Copenhagen, Copenhagen, a few weeks ago, a few months ago. So, so the London meeting was put together with funding from eFutures, which is a group that works on kind of electronics of various kinds, and the Wellcome Trust, and brought together many different types of neuroscientists all the way from clinical to experimental to computational modelers to neuroengineers. And it was nice to put all these different groups together in the one room and to get them to talk with each other and to explain to each other what their particular viewpoints are on neuroinformatics because they do have rather different views of the world and it's important that they do talk to each other. We talked from different areas of neuroinformatics all the way from clinical to neuroengineering and everything in between and a very good discussion of ways forward. But one of the important things that came out of this meeting was proper collaboration with the British Neuroscience Association, which is the UK's organisation on neuroscience. And it goes back to, I think, the mid-1960s, so it's been around for quite some time. And we're hoping to become a special interest group of that particular organisation. Where does this go to? Again, probably. So there's a programme, you probably can't read it from there. But what we did have was to have talks from a variety of different people, Rasmus Peterson from Manchester, Ari Ercole, who's a, um, a clinician from Cambridge, Simon Schultz from London, Evelyn Cernogod, who's a retinal neurophysiologist at Newcastle, Narendra Ramnani from the British Neuroscience Association, and Catherine Adcock from the Medical Research Council. And then we had a lot of discussion and so on after that in order to work out ways forward for the UK node. And what we're trying to do basically is to reinstate UK INCF funding and to try to ensure that the UK node has specific funds. At the moment we're, we're putting things together on a point by, on, a, on a, an event by event, in an event by event way. There's lots of views as to how you should organise a node. Maybe we should be very broad and look at all aspects of neuroinformatics. Maybe we should be very narrow and concentrate on one particular area. And it's difficult to know what's best. But clearly we should be pushing neuroinformatics harder within the UK because there are a great many experimental, clinical and computational neuroscientists within the UK. And it's important, as we've been seeing at this meeting, to work on things that enable the reproducibility of results reinterpretation of raw data, 
sharing of data, sharing of analysis tools and so forth. And that's very important. But we've come to realise that it's more important, it's important as well to work with other organisations like the British Neuroscience Association. The other event we had was the FENS 2016 Social, which was quite, quite an interesting event. We had some talks there and also just the ability to bring people together to talk and have a, little, a glass of wine with each other. And that again was about data sharing, code sharing and sharing clinical data. We had a talk there from Centre TBI, which INCF is very involved in and part of which is in the UK. And we had Stephen Eglin from Cambridge, David Menon and Daisuke Miyamoto talking at that. So within the UK, there's lots going on. There's neurological aspects with Menon, who's talking later today, and Ari Ercola from Medicine at Cambridge. There's lots of issues there on neuroinformatics and critical care. After a traumatic brain injury, the first hour or two is absolutely crucial in the care of these people. And there's a lot of instrumentation going on to these people, giving a lot of data. And it's important to work out appropriate ways to interpret that data. Neural activity during natural behaviour from the Peterson Group, at Manchester, and there's neuroinformatics opportunities and challenges in in vivo and ex vivo imaging, and the Schultz Group at Imperial College are working on that. There's lots of other, of other things going on as well. My own work going back, oh, 10 or 15 years has largely been, a lot of it has been on the Carmen project, and that's about data sharing, code sharing in neuroelectrophysiology, and that's run these days by Jim Austin at the University of York and Evelyn Cernigor at Newcastle. But there's also a lot of interest in neuromorphic engineering, and not just the kind of neuromorphic engineering that the Human Brain Project does, but also neuromorphic engineering, which is about sensory systems, and neuromorphic engineering, which is about analogue-based systems, and Piotr Dudek at Manchester has been leading that side. Marcus Kaiser has been working hard and working on neuroinformatics, on brain tissue excised from epilepsy, ep epileptic patients undergoing operations, and there's a lot of very interesting data there. And really, that kind of data is so valuable and difficult to get that it behooves us to share it to as great an extent as possible. Neurocomputational modelling in psychiatry. Peter Diane was talking about that yesterday. And there's lots of other examples as well of related work going on in the UK. So NeuroML is one of the major pieces of work that's been happening there. Um, and that NeuroML is really about ways of um, producing descriptions of data, and that, and that underlies the ability to share the data. And it's open source, has contributors from around the world, and models from Allen, the Blue Brain, Neuro, and, and so on. Neuromorpho is converted to NeuroML as well. Open source brain is another thing of the same type, and that's been pushed by the Silver Lab at the University College London and funded by Wellcome. Again, it's largely Python-based, Python and NeuroML, and it's giving ways that allow people to share data and to share analysis tools because it allows them to hold the descriptions of their data in an appropriate and compatible form. And then there's work going on at the University of Sussex, GENN we heard about yesterday, there's a the Green Brain Project, and of course there's quite a lot of work going on in the UK on the Human Brain Project. In terms of future events, things that are coming along, well, David Volshaw is a person who originally set up the UK node, and he's going to receive the third Breitenberg Award for Computational Neuroscience, and that will be presented later this month at the Bernstein Conference in Berlin. One thing that came out of our May meeting and the collaboration with the British Neuroscience Association is that we are now organising a neuroinformatics symposium at the forthcoming BNA Festival of Neuroscience in April 2017 in Birmingham in England. And we're also working with the British Neuroscience Association to form a special interest group on neuroinformatics within the British Neuroscience Association. We're hoping to launch that officially at that BNA 2017 meeting and we feel strong that that will allow us to connect much better onto the UK National Neuroscience community. And of course the BNA is also itself allied to FENS and to the other international neuroscience associations. So it gives us a way of connecting the neuroinformatics work in the UK better onto the international community. Thank you very much.